Hey Capricorn. I picked y'all when I was picking Scorpio. So Saturn came out. Y'all are in Saturn. So we're going to do y'all reading. This is for soul flame unions, those that are in separation, those that are in union, and those that are calling in their soul flame. And you may feel their energy, although you haven't met them yet, if you're doing any magic to call in your soul flame. Sometimes you call them in because you feel them, <laughs> you know? So we're going to pull from all my decks. I did two new decks. And I'm going to post them on my website. They'll be available for purchase. I don't know if I'm going to go to Rider Amazon. I feel just safer um, having people come directly to my website. So, you know, if you want to purchase your purchase, it's not, I don't want it for everybody. You know, it ain't for everybody. I want to leave a level of mystique to it, you know. So we're going to put this on a divine mask. You know, we're going to put the root chakra bead on you and the divine masculine okay we're putting the throat chakra bead on the divine masculine throat because you men have a rougher time communicating their feelings and then we're going to put the solar plexus in a downward motion downward downward facing dog <laughs> so your ego can be brought down a little bit divine fan for those that's in separation a little mad those that are in your end a little mad at your partner you know and it's an ego issue you know we got ego issues quit playing playing so we're gonna get to the root of that and i'm gonna show you all my decks you can leave in the comments how you feel or you can send me some love and light you know like damn them dope i appreciate it and i'll feel the love too i promise i will and then we got my hip hop animal spirits deck, and we're gonna pop from that one. So we're gonna do the three, 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 three. From my hip hop um, tarot deck, soul flame tarot deck, and then the animal spirits tarot deck to take us up out of here, Kathy. Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups, and Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Seven of Cups could be some witchcraft involved. Some of y'all are dealing with people that are highly intuitive. You could be highly intuitive. You can have a Pisces placement. You can have a Cancer's placement. You know, just a highly intuitive. You can have a Scorpio placement because y'all was heavy in Scorpio's reading. So you may want to check out Scorpio's reading. Some of y'all need to ground y'all energy. Y'all dealing with somebody that's highly ungrounded. Oh my goodness, the three of pentacles in reverse. What didn't work out? What did not work out, Capricorn? Okay, this got my attention. Okay, some of y'all got to get y'all strength back after some form of heartbreak. So this is getting a feeling of separation. Yeah. Yeah, some of y'all got to get y'all strength back. The four of swords, the strength card, and the three of swords. So some of y'all are in separation from an energy, from a energy that is highly intuitive may have told you that you were they soul you know flame or twin flame or whatever the case may be you could be dealing with two high priestess energy where both people are highly intuitive the one that you're in the three of pinnacle you don't want to work work it out with anymore you know it's just not working and you're trying to move towards your soul flame and both energies can be highly intuitive both energies could be grounded sometimes. Both energies could be ungrounded sometimes, you know? It's just a weird vibe. But it is Piscean energy.
some of y'all get accused of being with the divine feminine a lot and you're not but this person can't they don't have any control over their imagination they go off on to thinking all kind of stuff and be i mean i really think you're doing it too that's for somebody And this is a soul flame reading. Okay, keep that in mind. Mm-hmm. Some of y'all getting y'all strength back, regaining strength after high levels of conflict. You know, learning the lessons of non-attachment, shaking certain shit off, just dealing with that shit. I mean, resilient mentally. Some of y'all dealing with a Scorpio. Ooh, excuse me. Or y'all got Scorpio in y'all chart, honey. Because I'm saying y'all was all up over Scorpio reading, and y'all popping some of the same freaking cards. Okay. Let me shake up the energy. Some of y'all leaving something and moving towards something else, okay? And I'm trying to see what is going on. Okay. It's like a lot of shit going on. <laughs> it just didn't work, you know? It's like you're trying to make it work with somebody and it just didn't work. And you're moving forward, you know? Because you got the four that fell after the three. So it's clearly... You got to reveal whether you want to or not because your heartbreak over something that didn't work out. Some of y'all could be in a heartbreak from being in separation from someone or um, and also the person that you're leaving or left already. So y'all got to have a, a lot of mental strength to deal with that level of pain and to be able to rebuild. It's, yeah, it's really, yeah. Some of y'all are in soul restoration, rebuilding y'all foundation, building a more solid foundation. Some of y'all vigilant. Some of y'all been planning this shit for a minute, minute, because y'all been trying to work it out with this energy. And it's just, I mean, plans get fucking derailed. Like, I'm talking, where you like, you know what? I can't do this because I keep losing, you know? <laughs> kind of like you wake up to that reality that you keep losing with this energy. And you want to move towards something more solid. Yeah. <laughs> so we got karmic energy clearly in the mix. You can't make something work that don't, you know? Because that be like God, you know, man. People die from shit like that. When God got a divine calling on your life and somebody tries to block that shit just because they feel like they're married to you, God will destroy you. He don't care nothing about you being somebody's wife. It don't work. It's time for this person to move forward. I have something for them to do. I have need of them. And you telling God, no. That's mad. That's Luciferian energy all day. Don't give up on me. My ex and her petty ass friends stalk your social media pages and your YouTube channel. <laughs> Will you forgive me for being a coward and leaving you with no explanation? So this is for Capricorns and for cross watchers. However you fit. I knew it when it was double divine feminine energy came up and it was two different kind of energies. I said, oh shit, Cap got a whole bunch of people on their damn radar. I don't know who this is for, but something going on, honey. And this about to tell us right here. Let's see. I told y'all it was somebody unstable in the mix. They got a hell of a imagination. And everything you say, Divine Femme, on your YouTube channel. And they think you talking about Divine Masculine and you just read. They don't understand reading is not opinionated. Even if it's what you're, what's coming across the table, even if you're going through it, it's still just a channel. It just happened to be going through with your channel. 
You said you ain't going to do shit this tofu. Can you do a protection spell for me? I don't trust this bitch. Okay. This come up under the witchcraft card, y'all. This energy is out of her mind, low key, and with the magic side. They don't trust uh, her. <laughs> I'm trying to tell y'all. So they asking you, Divine Femme, can you do some form of protection spell if y'all into magic? He don't or she don't trust this bitch. Let me call me and bitch is what they saying. You just gotta tell her how we TIT I ain't trying to just cuss to be cussing. But probably why the three of uh, pentacles came up in reverse. I'm literally blocking you from calling in another person to be with. Are some of y'all doing this Capricorn? Literally blocking people? That's why the three come up in reverse? Because this energy, they think it's a crazy bitch that's doing spell work on them. So they don't, I mean, it ain't like that. I am a cancer. Some of them are cancer energies, like I said. Didn't the Queen of Cups fall? Didn't I say this was relative to? I said something about cancer. Somebody's soul flame is a cancer or a karmic energy is a cancer that it didn't work out with. This could be for somebody that's calling in the energy if you're still watching. That's a cancer. That's why it didn't work out with nobody else because you're supposed to be with this cancer that you're calling in and the person that you're calling in is going to be a cancer. Okay? My ex was practicing black magic on me. Somebody knew you was their wife when they first seen you, Capricorn. Capricorn, you knew that somebody was for you when you first seen me. Some of y'all dealt with some uh, water signs. I'm going to text you when you least expect it. They, they going through something, okay? You going through something, somebody going through something, but clearly, this keep coming up. I'm literally blocking you from calling in another person. So this person is blocking you. Ain't nothing else gonna work. That's why that three of pentacles came out in reverse too. Cause ain't nothing else gonna work with nobody else because this person is saying they're literally blocking you. Some of y'all Capricorns are telling y'all soul flame y'all in separation with this same shit. Even if you ain't text them, y'all mentally communicate on another dimension. Go watch that Scorpio reading. Somebody is a cancer that it didn't work out with. <laughs> if you know that to be you, that bud is for you. Mm -hmm. Yes. This person is going to text you when you least expect to stay strong. That's what they saying because they know you how much you miss them. Or Capricorn, you saying that to somebody that's cross watching. It's a lot of cross watching going on. Okay, so I'm gonna see it out there. Let's see if we can get some more clues, Gabby King. Take this how it resonates to your life, to your story. Somebody cancer. That's all I do know. Okay. <laughs> or Pisces or Scorpio in this storyline. Okay. Who it is, I do not know. Black unicorn. Trust in the infinite possibilities of what God can do. Ain't that slim thug? I think that is slim thug. Black unicorn in my day. Ancestors are making connections for you. Ancestors is making connections for you, Capricorn. Oh shit, now this is getting spicy. We just be fear. That's that mystic energy. That's that far converter. Divine guidance, fearless, indestructible mystic, high honors, commands, respect. Okay. So this is two different women y'all dealing with. These are two different energies if you're dealing with men. You got one man that is completely and totally different from the other. You got one woman that's completely and totally different from the other. Y'all know that, and y'all know something wrong with this energy for some of y'all, because you're asking somebody to do protection work for you, because you don't trust this energy. 
And then it showed up a little bit on these soul flame cards. See, damn, this is a twin flame reading. Soul flame. This is a twin flame card. Nip and uh, glory. Love requires a brave heart. 35. That's eight. Be more adventurous with your lover. Love is unconditional. Okay, right. Like I said, it's two different energies. It's like y'all dealing with somebody new that y'all, they too, I'm talking about oil and vinegar, oil and water, gas and water, honey. Try to put some water in your gas tank and see what happens. Engine gonna shut down. Okay. This person, you Capricorn or somebody you in union with or separation with, this person got hurt twofold. They get hurt because they're in separation or you're getting hurt because you're in separation and you're hurt because it didn't work out and you feel like you wasted a lot of time with this energy that was not for you. Y'all are incompatible. Anytime you feel like somebody, first of all, are you free enough to call her a bitch? It's a difference between not knowing, you know, or just saying that's my bitch or whatever. You get it. But when it start getting nasty, nasty, it's not nothing good. Okay? You don't want no children around me like that. Some of y'all are dealing with a cancer energy or they have cancer somewhere in their chart. They could be an earth sign. You could have cancer in your chart. You could act out being a cancer more than you act out being a Capricorn. Just depends. Especially if you got a cancer moon. Or cancer rising. It depends on your station in life. When you, are you rising right now? Or are you are you in dissension? Look like y'all rising a little bit. It's like possible soul transformation. So uh anything is possible with God? Yeah, come on. Swim for he did come on. I mean, is that swim for Yeah, that's what I'm If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I'll be getting them confused. Okay. 24. Moose wisdom. Beastie boys. Be fearless. Listen to wise elders. You deserve greatness. Attached to longevity and ancestral wisdom. Then the beasties. The beastie boys. Okay. You definitely got to be fearless. Once you realize, and it just said. Love requires a brave heart. It really do. It's going to require courage or it did require courage or fearlessness to lead this energy, this situation. Some of y'all been in some long ass shit that just ain't working. You know, y'all know it. It just takes a certain amount of courage to say, F that. I'm, I deserve greatness attached to longevity and my ancestral wisdom, which means living out the legacy of your ancestors along with your own you know greatness <laughs> clearly the energy y'all moving towards who is going to get an unexpected text or you are you could be and they could be leaving a cancer for you capricorn y'all know your story Y'all got the moose and the shamu. Okay. Let me tell y'all how weird this is going. Somebody could have been in a union with a karmic and the karmic, like I said, it's two high priestess energies where the karmic could have told the divine masculine that the divine fan was doing witchcraft on him where he said, can you do a protection spell? I don't trust this bitch because some of y'all may, you know, got a platform or whatever because it did say that the friends was stalking the YouTube channel. This person got win and they was with a karmic. That's why they in a two-fold heartbreak. And the person that was really doing the dark magic was pretending like they was doing the protection. 
And the person that was doing the protection spells was the one they said was doing the dark magic. A fake karmic, a, a fake twin flame, a karmic twin flame. Mm-hmm, see? I put a spell on you. Didn't I tell you that? Listen. What do they say? Do they say I put a spell on you? Okay. Don't you think what they say? Okay. Okay. This is why they got to text you when they least expect it, this, this, and that. Because some of them moving away from a real toxic, crazy ass energy. Some of y'all may be moving away from a real toxic, crazy ass energy. And like I said, spell work is being done. It could be being done by y'all. It could be being done by your divine femme or divine mate, whatever their gender. And it could be being done by karmic energies. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's where the heartbreak coming from. It's got to be strong mentally because this person been doing spell work for a minute. And then when they met you, you was into the same, you know, you had the same gifts as their, this energy. Clearly, you're just not grounded with that shit. They go dark. You go light. But they swapped it out. That The person I'm feeling right now, you had no idea that the person even delved in as far as they delved into it. So it really wasn't. You know, the person that you went towards was a, a high priestess energy that did some form of magic that you saw. They may have a platform about it. So it made it just more, man, I don't trust it. Man, you think she's doing something? They've known this energy longer than whoever you've been in separation with, whoever they was in separation from. Whoever this is, I'm channeling them about. So they was able to get it off. Until somebody start paying attention. And this, I don't trust that bitch, turned from looking to the divine film to actually looking at the karmic. Actually listening to the divine film, maybe talk about, you know, the soul flame union and what happens in karmics and this and that. And that, I don't trust this bitch, turns into the real bitch that you or whoever I'm telling this for cross watching turned into the the bitch they don't tell and they shouldn't to put it in your foot. It didn't quite work out, okay? Whatever that was. Some came and burned right through that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, somebody caught wind. Somebody was crazy. And they're telling a bunch of lies. They're trying to shake it off and move away from attachments. The only attachment they want is the attachment that comes along with greatness, which is longevity and ancestral wisdom. I don't know who this is for, but this took a little longer than what I wanted it to. But I pray that y'all still in the vibe of the new cards. I'm going to put them on my website. I'm not going to Amazon. I'm going to go website. So if you want to purchase, you can purchase directly from me. And that's how that's going to go. Okay? They'll be posted on my website. Mm. So, very soon. All right. Love and light.